Oh my god, oh my god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh my god, did they just boop a snoot? They just booped a snoot. Mm. Holy shit, I think that cow just mooed. Hi guys, welcome back to the vlog. Hi guys, welcome back to the vlog. Hey, people are pissed that you didn't do a vlog while I was gone. You shouldn't have teased it and then how not. Do you know? How do you know? Because my ad sense would look a little better if you did. Well, that's very sweet of you to think that I would sell anything. Well. Ads. We are en route to Malibu for a little late birthday celebration. I didn't realize until literally this morning that the entire property is dog friendly. Oh my god, I'm so excited. So literally at like 9.01 in the morning. Hi puppies! Also don't worry, he has a seatbelt on, but he's just like, <laughs> he's at the very end length of his seatbelt, obviously. So this morning I was at Petco getting a like soft-sided crate, but the like beach area of this resort ranch thing is dog friendly and then also all of the rooms i think we have a little bit of outdoor space as well like not like a backyard whatsoever but i think that there might be like a little outdoor patio but we're also not in like a hotel building so oh did we bring a sweater for him we didn't bring a sweater for bobby's turn around a calm sweater i can i can just oh a calm yeah, sweater for the a beach, calm boy sweater scream. we didn't do that did we I guess we're going shopping. I think I've posted this on my stories before. And, oh, actually, and in a vlog. Moose gets so excited when he's within about a mile of the beach that he screams. It will happen again. Just like so confusing because he doesn't actually enjoy water. Hates water. Hates water. Not interested. Not interested whatsoever, but does love to army crawl in the sand. Big fan of that. So that is the plan for the next four days. Little late B-Day celebration. Moose looks so cute. <laughs> Bubbies are going on vacation. We made it, we are checked in, and I figured that I should do a little hotel room tour before we start fucking it up because we are here for four days, three nights, and it's not the biggest, and so it's about to be a shit show in just like a hot hour, maybe. Um, but the room is so cute, babe, say it. This. It's really cute. And I don't think it's the nicest I've ever stated, but it's really, what? really cute. What's wrong with it? No, there's nothing wrong with it. It's really cute. I feel like I'd be lying if I said that it's the nicest one I've ever stated. And the other times? The other times were actually the nicest turns I've ever stated. Maybe okay. not. I don't know. I was probably lying on some of them. Okay, here is the room tour. Okay, you walk in. You've got a little couch here. You've got a wild Jeremy over there. King size bed, maybe? Yeah, I think it's a king size. Oh my god. <laughs> Moose, when he comes to a new place where there's a new bed, especially a bed that's like neatly made, he goes absolutely psycho. Like zoomies like no other. Oh my god, oh my god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Big zoomy fan, okay. big zoomy fan. Moose, people aren't used to seeing you being all zoomy and crazy. They're used to you just like sleeping. <gasps> wow, that was such a good jump, Bubby. Wow, that was such a good jump. Okay, so we've got the bed over here. We've got the couch, a little bar cart here, a little closet, a desk, um, a mini fridge. And I also just, that's the uh, soft crate that I picked up earlier this morning. And we'll say this bed is kind of exploding out of it a little bit, but it is so cute. He's already a big fan. And we brought his bed, one of his blankets, and one of his toys. And we have a very happy moose who is grateful to be on vacation, I'm sure. And then little mini fridge, so cute. She's like one of those vintage style ones. We've got a mirror. There's a chair that I like relocated from underneath the desk. The crate fit perfectly. So we've got the chair over here. Full size mirror here. We've got um, a toilet room. I feel like it's not, you can't really call it a bathroom. It's like just the toilet in there. Okay, bye Moose. And then, are there more lights in here? Oh yeah, there we go. And then we've got a little closet over here, a rain shower, and then one of these like big raised sinks, which is really cute. A bathrobe. Ooh, I love a soft bathrobe. And so cute. After we we, like got settled in the room someone came by and dropped off the cutest little like doggy package so they give you one of these like little mats i'm sure it's also for like their cleanliness as well too because moose is actually not too bad of a messy drinker but i know some dogs really really are so they dropped off that little mat and they also dropped off this calamico's guest ranch little bowl it's so cute i am an overly prepared parent so like i brought both of his little ceramic dishes but this is so cute they also dropped off some on water to go, I'm sure, in the water bowl. Some little homemade dog treats. Oh, oh, and they drop off this cute little cushy. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. <laughs> they drop off this little bed. Moose like brought his own bed and it's pretty cushy, but this is so soft. 
For any other dog, that would be wonderful. Right, moose, but for Moose, moose he likes course. his yeah. memory foam yeah, and yeah. his four layers of blankets. But how cute is this? The little uh, crate also came with like a soft padded bottom. So like we could definitely double decker this portion down. Oh my God, oh my God. That portion down there. And oh my God, Moose is hyped to be here. Big fan of the crate. <laughs> He's so cute. Oh my god, this bed looks- I should have probably sized down one bed size from home. I think he'll be cozy. Moose loves like a little dark cozy area. Moose testing out his quarters, his sleeping quarters. Then there's this- I guess we could just put this somewhere else. I'm sure he'll make use of it somewhere else in the room. And then our little outdoor area here, we've got this little patio. We've got a little table and chairs. And then we have this really, really cute outdoor shower. Oh my god, oh my god. And we have a psycho moose right now. Oh my god, he is so stoked to be here. There's like the little entranceway to our room. I walked in and I was originally a little bit worried because the shower is just like a rain shower and we are planning to go to the beach at some point this weekend and moose will immediately need a bath after. So I was like, oh shit, how are we gonna give him a like post beach bath? But this one is so perfect. It's an outdoor shower and it's got like one of the little hand spray nozzles. Moose is 10 out of 10 not gonna enjoy the bath because he hates baths. I didn't hate baths. He tolerates baths, but this is the cutest little outdoor area here for it. It's also like wildly private. So you can see like these go all the way up here. And so obviously like no one can see in. Okay, Mr. Hyper Boy, let's go. A little birthday weekend brekkie. We've got Bubby's being number one good boy. Got some avocado toast that is currently just absolutely covered in lettuce. And you know that my childish ass is about to pick off every single piece of lettuce and this little little egg. Oh my God, this, the wide, the wide angle is making my hand look so weird. We've got breakfast tacos, yum, and mimosas. And confirmed, I am a small child. Hi guys, we are at the pool. Moose is currently hogging the entire lounge chair. I think you can kind of see that I am on the absolute edge and Moose has the entire thing. And like, as he should, I understand, as he should. Having a dog friendly pool is the best thing that's ever happened to a vacation. Thriving, look at him, he's so happy. Hello, I'm back. Oh God, it's just so bad. It's so bad. iPhone vlogging is just so not ideal. There are cows and horses on this property. So Bubby's is about to meet his first cow. I think he's gonna freak out a little bit. They seem very docile and friendly. So I think it'll be Moose that'll instigate some drama. It will be Moose that will instigate some drama. The cows are so cute though. I've never been this close to a cow before. I just thought that there'd be like more space between me and the cow where it's just like a small little tiny fence. Oh my God, it's cow time. Oh my God. You wanna go meet a cow? You wanna go meet a Mr. Moo Moo? Oh my God, there's a giant opening at the bottom. Oh my god, babe, be careful. Oh my god. The new friends. Oh my god. Bubbies, what is <laughs> Oh, was that scary? Good morning, grass puppo. Good morning. I'm so sorry. Most wasn't a big fan. I hope you don't take it personally. But you, good morning. Good morning. Oh, we are so excited to see the cows this morning. That was almost a beach scream. Yeah, I know. The beach scream has now turned into a cow scream. Okay. New friend? Oh my god, oh my oh my god, did they just boop a snoot? They just booped a snoot. That's a snoot boop. That's a that is a literal snoot boop. But was you make a friend? Oh my goodness. It's the horns that I'll make you likes. <laughs> oh this is going better than expected. They kind of look alike. Honestly, the body and the face shape is not that far off. Mm. Holy shit, I think that cow just mooed. I don't think I've ever heard a cow moo in real life before. Next animal. Looking curious so far. We had a lot of excitement at the cow, so hopefully this goes well. Hello! Oh Wow, so pretty, so silky. Oh, is it breakfast time? I'm so sorry. We've got a lot of interest from this party over here. It's almost a beach scream. It's almost a beach scream. Less interest from these parties over here. Do you see the sheen on this horse's coat? Maybe it's Maybelline. Maybe it's Maybelline. No, babe, that's the wrong. That's the wrong cosmetics company. Honestly, would love to get the hair routine. The skin routine as well, to be honest. And there's our small horse. Noble Steve. Our noble Steve. Very much serving donkey. Donkey from Shrek. Yeah, I'm gonna say donkey from Shrek vibe. <laughs> also, this is an animal content, but look how pretty all of these chandeliers. It's not even doing it justice on camera. Oh my god, so pretty. All of these chandeliers that are hanging from the trees. A little waterfall moment. These are usually where people get married, and there's so many different like private event spots over here. So pretty. Good morning, guys. It is the next day, morning, and babe. what? Morning. Oh, good morning. Good morning. I would say good morning to you. Yes. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good. Yeah, everybody, including Jeremy. Um, and today, moose. and and moose, and everybody. Oh, and good morning, everybody. Oh God, I'm out of breath already. It is a little cloudy today. It's a little overcast in Malibu today, and today is supposed to be our beach day, but the weather forecast says it's gonna clear up, so fingers crossed. Can't walk and vlog. I can't walk and vlog. I need to work on my cardio really bad. Oh my God. Oh, this is adorable. Okay, hang on, the lighting is shit right now. One second. Bobby, are you, are you, is, are you standing on a grass couch? It's dangerous. <laughs> oh, oh, very good. Look at everyone on the grass couch. So cute, so cute. 
I wonder if any dogs have like gotten confused and done a little done a little piddle on Why? the grass couch. No, I'm sure it's fine. It's totally fine. It's gonna be great. It's totally fine. It's absolutely fine. So the plan for today is hopefully it'll get sunny and close your mouth. <laughs> close your mouth. <laughs> Breathe your nose. <laughs> so the forecast says that we've got sun in our <laughs> Breathe through her nose. <laughs> Breathe through your nose. Breathe your nose. Breathe your nose. Everyone can smell your breath from here. So forecast says sun. So beach club hopefully within the next hour because beach club is also <laughs> beach club is also dog friendly. So family beach day, fingers crossed. Um <laughs> Yes, Moose, how do you like it? How do you like it? I don't think he minds. <laughs> I don't think he minds either. I think he kind of likes it. Okay, I'm just gonna be absolute garbage because there's a very beautiful but loud fountain behind us. What? How about the highway behind what? us? What? And there's and also the a freeway, the PCH, and the ocean. There's just there's a lot happening. And a screaming dog. And a screaming dog. Oh my god, we are at the Ranch's Beach Restaurant, which is across the street from the beach, and they actually have a little tunnel that goes underneath the freeway over to the side but, of what? But. But. It's flooded. It's high tide. So Super cute tunnel. Super cute tunnel. Super convenient tunnel. I honestly wanted to be like, well, how flooded is the tunnel? Because I'd love to just like wade through it to experience it. Jeremy's not, not into the idea. Not into the idea. This vlog is just like all bad lighting. I'm so sorry. So lunch first and beach afterwards. There are patches of blue in the sky and I think we're going to get some sunshine. I'm so excited. And I've also just decided that if a vacation is not dog friendly, I don't want it. Oh my God. <laughs> One way. Oh, you're not that wet. So dramatic. The sun is out and we are thriving. <laughs> Moose refuses to sit on the ground like a normal dog he wants his own chair okay well here we are <laughs> Sandy beats. hi guys it is the next day and i am officially home from the malibu birthday vacation 10 out of 10 weekend it was so fun so this entire oh here incoming tippy tappies in three two one enter boobies <laughs> I'm always just saying that that's her favorite part of the vlogs is that like whenever I turn on the vlog camera Moose just like feels the need to come tippy tapping into the vlog every single time. So this entire resort was dog friendly. Oh my god, giant heavy baby. Oh god. And I feel like some places say they're dog friendly, but like this place was like pool dog friendly, beach dog friendly, restaurant dog friendly. And it was so many dog lovers and Moose got like the most VIP treatment in the entire world. And going into the weekend, um, I honestly had him booked at his doggy daycare for like a few nights of sleepover camp because I thought that you had to like schedule a dog friendly room in advance when you book and I totally forgot to do that. But the entire place ended up being dog friendly so we were like oh my god yeah why wouldn't moose come and it ended up being the best weekend ever oh my god so we are home from vacation back into regular life i will say the one thing that was the biggest pain in my ass the entire weekend and also the week leading up to the birthday weekend trip was um i have been struggling so hard with tmj holy shit i've like always had like minor issues with it like sometimes i'll wake up from like clenching my jaw and my teeth in the morning and have like a mild amount of pain but it always kind of just like clears up by the end of the day and okay Okay, and we're gonna, we're gonna dismount. Damn, dismount. But on the like third last night of my trip when I was in Canada, I woke up in so much pain and it's been like a week and a half since that morning and I've never had TMJ issues like this before. Like I can open to about here like about half without there being like a ton of pain. So I've been doing exercises that my physical therapist has given me in the meantime until he can come. And I've never had a physical therapist work on TMJ. I've had like neck issues and hand and wrist and like arm issues from like working on the computer like this all day, every day. So I can vlog that if anyone's interested. I'm not entirely sure what he's gonna do. Essentially though, I've been like, 
here and here and like going this way it stretches out this muscle down here and I've been icing and I've been taking lots of ibuprofen and I have a mouth guard coming tomorrow and overall I'm just so fucking sick of my jaw hurting holy shit and I've also learned through complaining on Instagram about my TMJ that so many of you guys suffer from TMJ as well too so I've also gotten a ton of resources and massage techniques etc from a lot of you so thank you so much if you've left me a message about your TMJ experience I also have Botox scheduled it was originally scheduled for Thursday but I realized that that doctor doesn't do TMJ Botox so that is scheduled not until the second week of September which is not super ideal but I'm hoping that the PT will help with like the current pain and will just get me to the Botox appointment. I've had a handful of friends. I think Tiff has shared her experience with doing Botox for TMJ and it made just like a world of difference for her. So I am going to give it a shot because I don't ever want to feel like this again. And um, that's been the, uh, the, the jaw update. And it's only been in this side, but too, I've always had like jaw popping and grinding and clenching and like, uh, I'm just so fucking over it. Oh my God. So anyways, that was the only not great part of the weekend, but the staff at, we stayed at Calamigos Ranch in Malibu was so incredible. I went up to like their front desk or whatever the first night because I was in a ton of pain and the concierge went and got me a bag of ice and a plastic glove so I could fill up like the surgical glove with ice to hold to my face. That is some 10 out of 10 customer service. So Jordan, the front desk, at Calamigos Ranch. Thank you so much. Your DIY ice pack. It was life-changing. So anyways, that is the update. Overall, incredible weekend. I know the vlog is probably a little bit jumpy, but I wanted to obviously enjoy the weekend, but also capture some of it for you guys because it was so much fun. I have a ton of stuff coming up in the next couple weeks, so we'll definitely be on my vlog game. I think I'm also getting a touch-up of lip injection soon, so get excited for that because we'll do a little update vlog around that, and then let's inject some shit into my, my jaw because I don't want the jaw that I currently have right now. I think that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little weekend vacation vlog. I will see you guys soon in the next one. Bye guys.